Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jordan. I have taken a little break from YouTube over the past few months. It was summer, I was traveling like crazy, and I just could not find balance to film or any time to like really sit and film. I was just focusing on traveling and my friends and just my other work. And I hate that I haven't filmed in so long. Filming is like my therapy and doing makeup here is my therapy and I really miss you guys and I feel like I really connect to you guys on here. So I'm excited to be back and I'm excited to do a full tutorial for you guys today. With that being said, I want to do a Siren Eyes tutorial. I did a real version of this on my Instagram, but I want to do a full length video and actually show you guys like how to do it properly and like just like a little bit more in depth of a tutorial because I always just find that that's way more helpful. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'm going to get into it. I'm also going to show you guys a ton of new products that I've been loving, of course. So let's get into it. Okay, so to prep my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Vanish Primer. This stuff is like a mattifying, blurring filter for your skin. And I only put it in the areas that I get really shiny. And I just kind of pat it in with my fingers and melt it into the skin. You guys, this is the first time I think I've ever had red, red nails in my life. I've never been like a red nail girl but you know what i'm kind of feeling it i feel like it's classy and it looks really nice honestly i definitely am liking it i might do it again so yeah you can see how that just like blurred my t-zone so much absolutely love the way that that works and it's also a non-comedogenic so it will not make you break out which is the best part I've been mixing two concealers lately. I've been mixing the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Armani Power Fabric. One of them is just a little too dark for me right now. This one I was using in the summer when I was more tan, but it's a little dark, but I love the way that they mix together. They're both really good concealers on their own, but um, I just really like the way that they've been looking as I mix them together. This one's really, really light. So I'll kind of highlight the areas that I wanna be brighter with this. And if I have any like spots, I'll just kind of dab a little bit on there as well. And then I'll just kind of add a little bit of that on top. And then I'm gonna take my Kosas Beauty Blender which is my new favorite beauty blender because it has a really pointed tip and it gets really in there, like in the crease of your eyes and like in the crease of your nose and then right up under the eye. I just find that the consistency of it too is really nice. Like beauty blender is really good too, but I find that it's more porous so you can see like the little dots of where the beauty blender doesn't actually hit your skin. You can see like the sponge mark almost on your skin. And then this one just blends it really, really seamlessly. I like to start light on the concealer and then I can build darkness. You don't want to have like a dark concealer spot on your face or like underneath your foundation. For foundation, I've been loving the Makeup Forever HD Skin. Oops, that just exploded everywhere. This is shade um, one and 10. And I'll just like take the same, a little bit damp beauty blender and start working that into the skin. This stuff is really beautiful. It actually looks like your skin texture, which I love, but it has kind of full coverage, medium full coverage, I guess. So you can layer it and make it or coverage if you want, but I normally just do one layer and it's enough. I used this during fashion week and I did a lot of like shoots and stuff like that and it looked so good in photos too. I guess it makes sense because it is like the HD foundation, but this has been a little bit of a life hack for me over the summer. I actually bought a darker concealer and I've been using it as a bronzer slash contour. This one's a little orangey for a contour, but I like to go back in on the areas that I would normally bronze 
with this and it adds a really nice color and it just blends really easily because it's a concealer. Sometimes I find with contour that it looks too gray on me and then I feel like I, I look contoured but I feel washed out still. So this has a nice kind of like orangey tone, warm tone that I love. This color is 440C. And I'll just go in and blend it with a um, foundation brush. This one's from Hourglass. I've used this a lot in my videos. See how it's like a nice orangey, warm tone. And it blends so beautifully over top of makeup. It doesn't separate your makeup because it is a concealer. And I do it on my eyelids too because I feel like it, um, the oranginess kind of gets rid of any sort of purpley tone from like the veins on your eyes and really warms up, but not, I don't like when eyes get too bright around the edge. I feel like it doesn't look natural because no one really has like super bright eyes. So I find that it complements like the purple and kind of cancels it out, but also like conceals at the same time. I literally just like barely touch it and it blends right out. And then we're gonna go back and contour too. Sometimes I'll take a little bit on a brush and I'll just kind of add it underneath my eyes. I haven't set my under eyes yet, so they're starting to crease a tiny bit, but this will definitely help with that. And it'll get rid of that like crease line where you can see like the darkness underneath your eyes. I'm gonna go in with two blushes, Rare Beauty Hope first as the base, and I'm gonna apply it kind of up in the apple of my cheek and blend it up into the temples and lift the face with this. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Sisley blush stick in number seven, Berry. And I'm going to do a little bit on the higher points of my cheeks. I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose. Like I wanna put on my lips too, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna put it on my hand like this and then take my brush and kind of work it in like this instead of just putting it directly on my skin. I wanna put a little bit on my lips just to see what it looks like. I have just like aquifer on already and just like a tiny bit of lip liner. And then I'm gonna set the blush with a powder blush. This is from Hourglass, the Ambient Subline Flush blush. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to pack that in. You always want to set your cream products with a powder to make sure that they stay. Okay, I was thinking I was going to contour, but I actually don't think I want to contour. Maybe I will. Yeah, whatever. I'll contour a little bit. Since my hair is up, contour on the nose, just in the center like this. I just kind of contour the top and then the tip. I kind of did that out of order, but it's so fine. It'll still look amazing. Blending that in super well. I'm glad I did that. I feel like that definitely helped chisel out the face a little more. I need to powder my face. I like to take a big fluffy brush and just kind of dust it over, but not like blend it yet. So I'll dust it in the areas that I need powder. And I'll take a beauty blender, kind of pack some powder on my hand like this. Just kind of lightly, lightly blend it in. For brows, I'm gonna use the Refi Brow Sculpt. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of this because I find if I do too much, it can get a little flaky, but I just want my brows to be pretty natural for this look because I wanna focus on the eyes. So I wanna make sure that the brows don't look like too sharp. I just wanna keep them like perfectly natural. Fill them in a little bit, keep them in place. And this stuff really keeps them in place all day. I've been really into the Gucci eyebrow pencil. Um, this one has a really sharp tip at the end and it's kind of like a angled brush tip and you can really mimic your hairs and keep it really natural, which I like. See how like the Refi kind of has like random like specks in it sometimes? That's the only thing that I don't love necessarily, but it does that sometimes and you have to like pick them out or else it looks like you have like eyebrow dandruff. So I leave to go to Paris on Monday. I'm traveling again and I didn't think I was gonna go to Paris for fashion week, but I got some last minute opportunities and I was like, you know what? You only live once, gotta do it. Might as well just like keep going on the streak that I've been on. Okay, brows are done. I feel like the brows look great. Super natural, super easy. Okay, I just got this brand new palette in from Pat McGrath. How beautiful are these colors? I definitely wanna use these browns and then maybe a little bit of the black. Um, I might highlight with some of these, we'll see, but I'm really excited. This is the Mothership palette and what color is it? Yeah, it's the Mothership palette. It's so beautiful, like I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna start with this brown here. I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera. And then I'm gonna dust this over the lid. Just a little bit as my base color. Everyone needs a pat palette in their life. And if you're gonna get one, I highly recommend one like this that has a lot of neutrals and mattes in it. So it's very versatile. Bring a little bit underneath as well. I'm gonna do one eye first and then I'll show you guys like the before and after of each eye and just show you how much the siren eye makes a difference on the shape of your eye and your face. Maybe I'll take a little bit of this kind of highlighty color, blend that underneath of my brow. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that was a good decision. Whoa, okay, that was fun. I love the way that that looks. I'm gonna actually take a little bit here too. And then if you put a nice little highlight pop, like if you get certain angles, you see how it like picks up the light there. My stomach is growing. And then you can also place a little bit of that in the corner and just start highlighting. I love this, wow, this is so beautiful. See how that's already like so lifted compared to this side? I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go back in just um, with that brown again and just go underneath a little more. That's all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. I'm gonna take a liner, like a little pencil liner like this and I'm going to go underneath my lash line. And then I'm also going to put that in the water line. Okay, see how like that made my eye look smaller? Wait till I show you how I elongate it with a liquid liner. I'm actually gonna take a little tiny pencil at first. This is the Refi brow pencil in dark. It's almost like black brown. And I'm going to really get in there and be precise and start drawing this part inwards a little bit. And then I'm also going to Take that underneath the lash line. So I'm gonna take a dark brown liquid liner from Dior. The other liner that I just used was also Dior. And I'm going to draw a 
very precise little point. And I'm just gonna start small like this. This is as far as I'm gonna go for now and then I can always make it longer later. But for now, I'm just going to work on the wing. Just like that. Okay, and that's the eyeliner done on one side. You can see how the point started down here and then it lifted up that way. I could, I could make the wing a little bit longer, but I think I'm gonna keep it pretty natural for now until I do the lashes and then we'll see how it looks after I do that. I always wanna like add more later and then instead of like doing way too much to begin with. Okay, so now I'm just going to curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Dior Show Mascara in black. This stuff is like magic. It's also kind of a splurge, but it lasts so long and it's worth it because it makes your lashes look so incredibly good. I'm gonna take some individual lashes. These are from Amazon. I'll link them below. They're honestly the best. I like reuse them. You can start adding. And then I'm only applying them to the outer edges of my eye because I want to continue to elongate the eye. And you can see like how they go out towards like the wing. So that makes me think I might wanna draw the wing a little bit longer. Yep, that made a way bigger difference. But I feel like it's not dark enough. So I'm gonna go back in with the black. Just like that. And then, okay, so this is the eye finished. You can see that it has a really nice lift to it and then it starts a little bit like closer in and way farther out so it has that elongated look to it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that white on the palette again and I'm just going to add a little a little bit there and a little bit underneath here as well okay and now i'm going to do the other eye off camera and come back and show you guys the final result okay both eyes are done this is the other eye i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the airbrush flawless setting spray so i went to new york fashion week with revolve and they had this amazing beauty closet full of amazing products and stuff like that. And I also get a lot of my beauty products from Revolve Beauty. So I got these two things. This is like my new favorite lip combo. It's very like cliche, but it's still the best. It's the Lip Cheat um, Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is Iconic Nude. And the Kosas Lip Liner, um, or no, the Kosas Lip um, Oil in color dip so i think i'm going to use these two i've already like used so much of this i've already used so much of this and i'm just going to overline my lips a little bit like that and do a nice little nude I've also been loving the Kosas lip liner. This color is a darker brown. It's in Supreme. And I like to take that and kind of go over some of the edges and I'll just like smudge it out after. And I kind of like to, and I kind of like to contour with it a bit. So I'll take it down the middle like that. And then in the areas I want to highlight or enhance. Smudge it out a little bit. I'm gonna take my lip oil, which is a pretty nude reddish color, just blend that all together. 
setting spray. I'm gonna take a little more of this and maybe a little bit of the pink, do a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks. Yep, that looks great. Okay, wow. I love the way that looks. Gives kind of like a nice iridescent look to it. Take some of it over the brows. I like to tie in the whole face. So if I use like a highlighter, I'll kind of bring it just around onto the forehead as well. Some nice final touches. And there you have it. I'm going to show you guys the final look in better lighting than this. This is just like my lighting setup, but I feel like I want to show you guys in natural lighting what it looks like. Okay, and that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I made sure to link all my favorite products below for you guys as always. And I also linked a bunch of my Revolve Beauty faves um, in the description below so you guys can go shop those as well. I hope that this was helpful and informative and I'm so glad to be back on YouTube. Um, I have so many life updates to share that I'll be sharing in the next couple weeks. Um, but I just wanted to like throw something up for you guys, get something up on line so you could recreate it. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it and I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day.